you have to massively increase the frequency of your conversation with your team because they're out of sight doesn't mean they're out of mind. My biggest piece of advice right now, and this could solve half the world's problems that we have with our employees, is communicate, communicate, communicate. And this should be done on a frequent basis and with empathy and care. You know, you think about it, we are going through something that we've never experienced before. Keep your team up to date in a dynamic and constantly changing environment. If you don't know the answer, it's okay to say, I actually don't know the answer there. Um, but make sure that everyone has a framework of the temporary and the new working environment. So say, for example, you have an employee who has a job keeper direction, such as a change of duties, which um, the example uh, Daddy gave is now they're going to do some filing for you. I would suggest the following framework to structure that conversation. And for anyone who's got a pen and paper, write this down. Pinpoint for the employee exactly what you want them to accomplish. Create a measurement or some KPIs for monitoring progress to give them that qualitative and that quantitative feedback. Provide feedback and then reward and recognize them. And then keep checking in with them to find out how they're going. And you never know, they might find out stuff that uh, like they really like what they're doing in the new circumstances or they may find something in the process that you never knew or wouldn't know that can be done better or see opportunities that you're not seeing. And I think the other piece I would share here is mental health and domestic violence is a real issue and that's a whole other topic. But just because George was okay yesterday doesn't mean George is going to be okay next week. You have to massively increase the frequency of your conversation with your team because they're out of sight doesn't mean they're out of mind.